All right, hey guys. Today I want to tell you about my new chainsaw. But first, I'm going to tell you about my old one. My old one is the Husqvarna 455 Rancher. This saw has suited me and done well for me for 11 years. Uh, you can see it's kind of worn out for sure. And I was telling my wife I'd like to have a backup and maybe a little bit lighter saw. The uh, My wife surprised me with... Ta-da! The 450, the 450 Rancher. The uh, it's a lot lighter. It's a super looking saw. Everything is right here, same like my old one. And uh, I've never had any gas or oil in it. Brand spanking new from the factory. What we're going to do is we're going to put some gas and oil in it and give this thing a test run. Come along. Let's see how it does. Okay, with the saw, they gave me a. Looks like an instruction manual. They gave me a little container of two-stroke oil. Let me open this up. They give me a little container of two-stroke oil that you mix with the gasoline. And in this same package, they gave me a chainsaw tool. I'm going to see if I could use this chainsaw tool to pop that staple off real quick. All right, we got the staple out. There's the staple. Now, hopefully, this will just slide right off. Okay, let's lay this to the side. Now, they gave me this. They well, they didn't give it to me. I had to buy three cans of this Husqvarna premixed fuel. Normally, I make my own gas oil mix, but uh, if I bought three of these. They gave me, they extended the warranty on the chainsaw by an additional two years. So I had to get this anyway. I had to get fuel for it. So I figured, what the heck, extending the warranty is a great thing. So the fuel goes in the back. Okay. Let's see what it says here. To open, push down to open, okay. That was a little bit of a chore, but not bad. Let's see if we can do this and not spill too much. It actually pours really nice. I like this container. And the fact that it's metal, it'll It'll take a beating. Whoops, I made sure I put in a little bonus there. Okay, tighten it up. This little latch latches it. Now we're going to put the bar oil over here. My wife probably won't like the fact that I'm doing this on the steps in case I uh, leak a little bit, but I'll try and be careful. Okay, that's probably real good. It's interesting to note about bar oil. This is an all-season bar oil, but they have winter bar oil and summer bar oil. And the... Uh, because the oil gets very viscous, it gets really thick in the winter time. The winter time bar oil is a little bit thinner. So, if you're doing firewood in the winter, make sure you don't use the summer bar oil. They have a little primer button over here. Okay, it says two to six times. Since it's never had gas in it, let's pump it six times. We should start feeling a little bit of pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really didn't feel much pressure. Now, I'm going to guess our choke is all the way up. So what I did was I pulled this little red lever out and put it up. Okay, let's try it. Let's 
pump it six more times. One, two. Now I feel a little bit of pressure. Six. It must have taken a little while for the gas to get through the carburetor, through the whole fuel system. Let's give it a try. Getting ready. All right, it sounds great. Once we got fuel through the system, it seemed to start up pretty good, not great, but I know that once I, I, I don't know, but hopefully once I start using it, it's going to start a lot easier than that. Like my old saw, one pull and we were off. So anyway, let's go cut some firewood. This 450 Husqvarna chainsaw, it did a great job. This is hickory and it's about two years old and it's been up off of the ground this whole time. It's very dense and very solid and this saw cut right through it like a champ. The, uh, the fact that it's lightweight, I didn't get it all tired and uh, I can really recommend this saw. I'm very, very happy with it. And uh, well, anyway, that's the 450 Husqvarna chainsaw. Guys, have a great day and be safe. Thanks for watching.